Hi, I'm Chris Converse. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, so what I wanted to do is spend a few minutes and show you how we can use Acrobat and Document Cloud to convert files to PDFs, even if we don't have access to the native application that created the original file. Um, and this can be really helpful, especially if maybe you get an email attachment or you have a file or maybe you send an InDesign document to a client and they don't have InDesign. There's lots of um, file formats that are supported and we can use Acrobat to push files right to Document Cloud and have those converted. So while I'm gonna be demonstrating this, I'm not gonna be able to answer all the questions that come in. However, there are some people from Adobe who are watching the chat pods. So please uh, ask your question, share your comments while I'm talking here. Um, and with that, um, let's get started. I'm gonna start sharing my screen here. And once I see that that's coming through, um, let's get started. So to begin, I'm here inside of Acrobat. And what I'm gonna do is convert an InDesign document into a PDF using Document Cloud. So I'm gonna come up here to the Tools menu. Inside of the Tools menu, I have all of my tools showing up here. I already had Create PDF open. Um, so let's come over in here and open Create PDF. So inside of Create PDF, we can choose uh, single files, multiple files, a um, couple of other options here. But what I wanna do is keep single file selected and come down and choose Select a File. Now from my open dialog box, I'll come out to the desktop and I'm gonna choose this InDesign file. You can see that over here on the right and I'll come down and choose open. So now that that file is loaded into the panel here, I'm gonna come down and click on create. So now what Acrobat's gonna do is it's gonna push that native InDesign file up to Document Cloud. Document Cloud's gonna understand what that is, convert that to a PDF and send it back down to my Adobe Acrobat application. And in less time than it takes me to explain that, I already have my PDF showing up here. So I'll just set this to fit page. I'll scroll down and look at the two pages from that InDesign document. And so now I have a brand new PDF file that's ready to share with my clients and my colleagues. So the next example of what I wanna show is how we can do the same sort of workflow, but on mobile devices. Um, and before I continue, I do see one question coming in from Manuel, who's asking uh, what types of files can be sent to Document Cloud? So that, that's a really good question. Let me just answer that real quick. So if I go back to the tools panel, come back to create PDF, Underneath the area where we select a file, there's a link here that says check more file formats. If we click on this, Acrobat will launch our browser and then take us to a page which will give us much more information about all of the different formats that's supported by Acrobat and Document Cloud. So if I scroll through here, you'll always get an updated list on all of the file formats that are supported, as well as additional tips on how to create PDF files. So at that point, I'm gonna close this file and I wanna bring up my mobile device. So first I'm gonna bring up my tablet device. So I'm gonna bring this up here so we can see this uh, on the screen while I'm working here. So what I wanna do is let's work with a different format. Let's work with a file that's not created by any Adobe software. So let's go into Adobe Acrobat here on my mobile device. I'm gonna switch from Document Cloud at the top down to Creative Cloud. Let's go into my business plan folder and let's select a PowerPoint file. So this comes from Microsoft Office. This is the native PowerPoint file, so I'm gonna click on this. So Acrobat is able to render this file and show me all of the contents, even though, again, I don't have PowerPoint on my tablet. So I can scroll through and look at all of this content. Now what's interesting here is, let's say I wanna turn this into a PDF file so that I can share it with my colleagues, maybe so they can uh, digitally sign it or they can add comments and put this into a collaborative workflow. So in the upper left-hand corner, I'm gonna click on this little pages icon. I'm gonna come down to create PDF. And just very similar to what we had on the desktop, I have this option of taking this file and choosing create PDF. So while this is running, I'm gonna come up here and click on the back button. I'm gonna change my view into the out box. And now I can preview the progress of Document Cloud taking that PowerPoint file and converting it to PDF. And just like before, faster than I can explain it, I already have my PDF file ready. So I'll tap on this and bring up my PDF file inside of Acrobat Mobile. So let me click back here, let me just zoom out. So now I have all of the editing capabilities that I would normally have. So let's come in here and let's go into Edit PDF. I'm gonna tap on the title here and what I wanna do is just simply change the date real quick. I'll tap and hold, come in here and change this to 2018. So now I'm ready to share this out with my colleagues and clients. And so let's take a look at one other uh, possibility here. And that is, let's say I'm out of the office and I get an email 
and the email has a Microsoft Office document. In this case, it's gonna be Microsoft Word, and I need to convert that as well. So this is a real sort of real world scenario because I could be out and still wanna be able to um, join in that collaborative workflow. So I'm gonna come down here and click on the mail application, and that's gonna bring me into my email where I can see that um, one of the members of my design team uh, has sent me a Word document that's gonna be out for an article. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap and hold on the Word document here. That's gonna bring up the option to take that file from my email and send it to any application on my device. So I'll scroll over and choose Copy to Adobe Acrobat. So now that Word document's gonna load inside of Acrobat. And just like we saw on the tablet device, um, Acrobat is able to render this page and show me a little bit about what this looks like. Now there is some formatting that's not being supported here in the Microsoft Word format, columns for example, but that's okay. Again, we're just looking at a preview. Just like before, I'm gonna tap on the blue pages icon here. I'm gonna come down to create PDF. Then I'm gonna click on create PDF down at the bottom. That's gonna push this up to document cloud. While this is running, let's go back and take a look at the Outbox. So I'll click on the top link, choose Outbox. I can see the progress of Document Cloud converting that Word document. It's already converted. I'll tap on this. Now I'm looking at the uh, PDF created from the native Word application. And now you can see that Document Cloud is able to understand completely all of the formatting from Microsoft Office. So I can see my double columns here showing up with all of the formatting that came from Kim, who's our designer here. So now that this looks great, in the bottom fourth icon, I'm gonna click on the action icon here, choose share file, come up to share original document. That's gonna bring up my dialog box again, and then I can simply hit email, and I can email this back to the design team or to my clients or to anyone who I want to share this new PDF file with. So that's a lot of options and a lot of different file formats that Document Cloud supports when you don't have the native application or you simply just wanna let Document Cloud convert your files into PDF. So I hope you guys found this interesting and I hope to see you in our next episode.